All right. I'm going to start a little few seconds early here. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to start a little few seconds early here. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to start a little few seconds early here. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Hold on here. There. <laughs> little technical thing there can everybody hear me all right is the audio okay just want to make sure before i get this thing started okay good thank you um <clears throat> was not planning to do a live stream today but sister chantre this was all your fault because you sent me this <laughs> <laughs> I just I saw it. I thought, what kicks a football? Sent me this in the email, this video here. Thank you, sister. I really do appreciate it. Um, but just unreal. And I was looking at some of the comments, and some people were saying if it's a new version, it doesn't matter. And Brian drilled holes in you know new versions and whatever else. Here's the point though. I drilled holes in new versions, I make fun of the new versions, but I present the King James Bible as okay this is the authority this is god's perfect word this it's not a matter of just uh you know i'm going to kick the thing or something else or whatever else uh that that's wrong um okay um if you have a moment could you please go over why it's different when you destroyed fake bibles and this act as i said you're typing that probably as i was saying this um so, uh, like I said, it's it's not a matter of they're saying, hey, this is an NIV, let's kick this. Hey, it's an ESV, let's kick this, but we won't kick the King James Bible. They're just doing it as a general, uh, it's a Bible, we'll kick it. This is funny. And I'm going to show you some stuff about this wicked woman as well. Uh, this woman right there, uh, she's very wicked. Um, we'll get back to that here in a little bit. But I want to do something a little different in today's live stream. OK, what I want to do is I want you out there, my viewers, uh, as we're watching this, I want you to come up with some scriptures, write them down or just have them ready or whatever else. Um, ways that you would rebuke this woman. OK, verses. What verses could you use from the King James Bible to show that she's wrong? All right. I have a couple that I thought of myself and I posted in the comment section of this video. So um, if you confronted her. What verses would you give her to say what you're doing here is wrong? Okay, so let's watch the video. It's offensive. I'll apologize in advance. Patterson back with the kick. In each quarter, preachers will be given a random phrase that they must effectively work into their message. And my understanding is these are completely random. They have never seen them before, seriously. You know what's well, hey, folks, time to meet our players. Let's head down to the field for today's starting lineups. The myth, the legend. Uh, I'll just butt in here and just say, uh, be not conformed to this world. Be a good one. Brian Cole. You know, it always amazes me how these modern churches love darkness. You know, I mean, I've been to these places. I actually went to a few back as a lost man and things, but um, it's weird how they like darkness and black and, and everything else. I'm getting ready for hell. Call it when it lands. Call it in the air. Tails! What I'm kicking. It, uh, yeah, let's just go with tails. Would you like to kick or receive the Bible? I will receive. Tom wins the toss, chooses to receive the Bible. Patterson back with the kick. I mean, right now, why isn't anybody in, the, in this crowd? I'm, I won't even call it a congregation. Well, congregation of the dead. But why wouldn't anybody stand up and say, whoa, hold on here. This is blasphemy. This is wrong. Why? Oh, my 
my goodness! Whoa. Is that a touchback? Can you yeah, even get a touchback? First time in 18 years there's a touchback for the kickoff. Super the Bowl. Patterson back. Where's the yelling, hey, that's blasphemy or, or whatever else? But uh, let me just show you a few things here quick, then we'll get into the scriptures on this witch here. Here's her, uh, what is it, uh, her website, I guess, or something. Um, come find the wisdom and strength you need. There's truth in the Bible for your real life. That's why you kicked it, stupid witch. Uh, know Jesus and build a life you love. Uh, really? Better life, you know, best life now. See how this this whole modern Christian church thing is so satanic. It's just so disgusting. It's just life enhancement. That's literally all that it is. And these ministers of Satan come along and they say, hey, I can make a really good living doing this. And just take stuff from the Bible and, you know, ignore most of it. But just take the stuff from the Bible that's good and makes people happy and everything. And you can make a good living at it. You know, but, uh, oh, she's how to stay standing. Three essential practices for building a faith that lasts. <laughs> okay, as you kick a Bible. All right, yeah, whatever. Wife, mom, author, and cur teacher currently serving at Crossroads Church in Cincinnati, Ohio, as a teaching pastor. Wow, that's really fascinating. Uh, there was something, I'm trying to think of where that was. I saw she had something about, you know, yoga. Can you do yoga as a Christian or something like this? Yeah, look at this. Um, no, 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 that's not the one. There was one about tithing. How to be a great date. Got your bottle of wine there, yeah. Uh, what Jesus post on Instagram. <laughs> okay. Uh Nuts. Yeah, meet Rahab the prostitute God loved. We'll talk about, there's another one here on this other one about that. Stuff on intimacy. I'm sure they like to have their sex seminars at that modern church. Yeah, why does God want my money? There it is. The Bible says that God wants us to give him the first 10% of the money we earn. Really? Hey, stupid whore, you stupid harlot, daughter of the mother of harlots. Um, where does the Bible say that we're supposed to give 10% of the money we earn? New Testament Christian, where does it say it? Okay, if this witch or any of the, the little sissy britches that the, the pastor's there at this cult building, if you can prove that it says 10% of the money I earn in the New Testament, I'll send you 10% of the money I earn. Okay, it doesn't say it. You're lying. But, you know, hey, when you kick a Bible around, what's, you know, whatever. How a hooker and her lies pleased God. Look at that. <laughs> this is one of those witch's sermons here. How a hooker and, a, and her lies pleased God. No, it's called the Rahab the harlot there. She realizes I'm going to be slaughtered with the city here and things. And so I'm going to help protect these two men. And she wasn't saved at that point in time. Yeah, whatever. But, uh, okay, give me some scriptures here um, of, uh, there's a good one, Proverbs 13, 13, whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Excellent one. It's actually one of the ones I posted in the comments of the comments section down there. Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Excellent. That's a good one. Um, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Amen. Very good one. Does anybody else have any other good verses that you would use? Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Excellent. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Exactly. 
uh, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. Yeah, another good one. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of people putting references to scriptures here too. So, yeah. Um, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Yeah. My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Excellent. As I live, saith the Lord God, Sodom thy sister hath not done, she nor her daughters, as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Yeah, very good one. That was from that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. Yeah, that you know they don't believe that. It's just disgusting. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Very good. To be discreet, chaste keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. That's a real good one right there. She just blasphemed the word of God. Again, she's not saying, I'm kicking an NIV because they're not the real word of God. She just, I'm kicking the Bible because it's fun. Oh, I missed one here. I have written to him the great things of my law, but they were counted as a strange thing to them. Yeah. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. Yeah. Excellent. And not rather, as we slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. And her damnation is certainly just. Um, you know, I'll add one myself. You know, fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Uh, these are fools here, wicked people. They gave gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers, and hirest them that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. I hope that you're not implying that she's a whore. That would just be terrible. <laughs> but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Very good. Oh, thing moved up there. The adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Exactly. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Great. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to the man, that man by whom the offense cometh. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the doctrine which is according to godliness, goes on to say he's proud knowing nothing, but they're doing about questions of words, questions of, and stripes of words. Uh, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Yeah. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. So, yeah, absolutely. So, I'll stop there, because we're... Um, we're getting a lot of them up here. But... Uh, I think we get the picture here. Just uh, absolutely disgusting to see this kind of thing. And um, I was just watching this thing from these modern Christians. I'll, I'll tune into some of their stuff every once in a while. And they were talking about uh, about how that, you know, I think that persecution is probably going to come. And I think this and I think that. And, you know, we're going to have to start to fight. And I just think, uh, haven't you been fighting all along? <laughs> you know, uh, we might have people turn against us. That should have been happening a long time ago. So, um, just want to address something else I saw earlier in the comments there. Um, let me unclick that one. Uh, somebody said, I saw somebody earlier on, Deliverance Ministry or something, and they said that all he does, all Brian's doing is just uh, um, his videos with his opinions, not King James preaching. Well, uh, 
let me address that for a minute here okay uh it is not a quick thing to come up with sermons okay i have the ruckman commentaries up here and i rarely ever even open them i might see if he has something to say about a verse and i wonder if he what he has to say but most times i don't look at those commentaries right everything i do is completely from scratch just what the lord puts in my mind or one of you puts in the comments could you please do a sermon on this what are your thoughts on that emails letters whatever that's what i do here with this ministry um and that takes time okay and there are times when i get into a study like i'm in right now and i start to look into things and i'm starting to think oh wow yeah that ties into this over here and that would mean that over there and, and it just gets really huge um i have my writing my sermons out and I used to print them, but that was getting kind of difficult. You know, I printed notes everywhere. And so um, here's the, basically what it's going to be about, the key to understanding the end times. I'm not gonna show you all the scripture references there, but I started going down through it and I, and I was trying to think, how can I get it all into one sermon? And it's just not happening. And you know, uh, yesterday, I uh, was trying to work on this a little bit, and my son needed some help with one of his books that he's reading. And, and he'd say, Father, what's this word mean? I don't understand this. Um, and he's reading history books right now in World War II, and it's a subject he's really interested in. So, okay, I stop what I'm doing. I'm going over and I'm helping him. And we had a delivery was supposed to come here yesterday, and you know, it, and there's that, and, and there's stuff that I have to do. And so it's not just something I can just come out with a sermon just all the time. You know, and a lot of guys like Ruckman, Sam Gipp, a lot of these guys, they preach the same sermons over and over again. And so they're going and they're traveling and they're preaching just all the time. Yeah, but it's the same stuff. A lot of these guys will have 30, 40 sermons and they just go and they just preach it over and over again at these Baptist churches. So to actually have, you know, for years and years, um, just come out with unique stuff, you know, that just completely i have to create it myself with the lord's help obviously but it, it's very challenging and um you know i was thinking about this it's 2024 right now i joined youtube in november of 2008 so that's what uh 16 years or something that i've been on youtube not quite 16 years um That's a long time. That's a time, a long time to be putting out material and everything else. Um, so, you know, if you don't like the walk and talk things and whatever, uh, then don't watch them. I do those just as a way to have material out there that I can give people something to think about. And then there's links to bigger studies at the end. Right. Kind of like laying out a gospel track saying, here's a website, check it out. That's what I do. Um, so uh i guess that's about it for now i have to get going here and um just wanted to do some things like that uh put this up here quick do some expository preaching i can but even that gets detailed <laughs> so i i cannot stand this thing um of these guys you know and they'll do you know three verses of scripture and then they just they stand there and they just rant and you know they, 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 and they put all this filler stuff in I, I can't stand that if i'm going to do a um a expository study it's going to have to be a really deep type of a thing uh, that's just the way it is um so that went and hit the wrong thing Thank you, Brother Brian. This was great sharing scripture among ourselves. Yeah, actually, the Lord kind of put that in my mind, and I was thinking, hey, you know, that'd be kind of good. Instead of me, I actually had a piece of paper right here. You probably just saw me putting it over there. It's blank because I was thinking I was going to start writing down scriptures, you know, that I could share to rebuke this evil woman. But then I thought, you know what? I'd like to actually have all of us do it. So I might do that again in the future. That was fun. Um, So, but, uh, yeah, okay.
just seeing everybody else's or the some of your comments over there. But um, so I'm going to try to get back to my sermon notes now. And um, I have to actually erase some of this stuff down in here, get rid of that, because that's not going to be the way that the sermon's going to go. And uh, so, but I guess that will be it. So <laughs> um, thank you everybody out there for your um, prayers. And uh, it's kind of funny. I saw, I was looking up some things. I wanted to get Wolfton, just the, the word Wolfton there, like from their website. And so I typed in Wolfton resources, got it from Google images, just, you know, stuck their thing in Wolfton has failed, you know, for the thumbnail picture for my one video. And there was an article and it said that uh, far left uh, people were against Wolfton and got Wolfton shut down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me? Far left? I don't think so. Uh, and it was some local jerk in the area here, Greg Smallwood. He's on the town council here in Patton. And um, I think he's been getting money from Wolfton, but that's another story. But he said that uh, the only people that were from the area that weren't, you know, that live in the area that aren't for this are people that weren't, aren't from the state, you know. So, <laughs> well, uh, so yeah. Quite a blessing, and again, thank you everybody out there for your prayers about the Wolfton thing. Yeah, I, I always kind of felt a little weird with it because it was kind of, it's not directly scripture, but, you know, if these idiots get their way, they're just going to totally ruin this whole area, and, you know, that's why I did some videos on it, um, but, uh, yeah, so, so I had the guy that sold me the, the bad vehicle, and he called me a, a, a northern socialist, and now there's an article out there saying that I'm far left. So, <laughs> oh man, I hope that the Lord records all these because I'd like to see a list, you know, someday when I get to heaven of, of all the things I've been accused of and called. I mean, man, it'd be a big list. It'd be fun to read though, I'm sure, you know, so, <laughs> but anyhow, enough said. Thank you, Chantre. Um, uh, for sending me the link to that, even though it was very vexing, but I do appreciate that. So, um, but that will be it, and we'll see you in upcoming videos. See you later. Stay in the Word of God, and uh, please do pray for us. I appreciate that.